hi everyone welcome back to my channel i really hope that wherever you are you are feeling great you are good i started the process of decluttering my home especially all the clothes that i have in my children's closet in my closet so i'm gonna share that with you today i want to start by saying that i apologize for the lighting because to record this video i didn't really take time to plan the video I just felt like decluttering the closet and I took my camera, I started to record, you know? I just followed the moment. I didn't take no light. I didn't wait for the next day to have natural lighting. I just had to do it. So that's why I was like, let me just record just like that because I couldn't wait one more day. This closet is one of my daily stress, okay? It is for my three years old boy. Every time I come to pick up something for him to wear, I have to be going through that, and that was very stressful for me. I purchased the onesie with the bow tie for my two years old boy for his first birthday and the t-shirt for my now seven years old boy. I don't know how they got in there, but I found them there, okay? It's good to declutter because it's impossible to go through all the clothes when it's messy like that just the way the closet was it's impossible to even find something i'm trying to change my life i'm trying to manage my stress level and studies have shown that clutter increase our stress level and i can confirm that this is true because i feel it every single day clutter causes me to be frustrated irritated it causes me to be in a bad mood every single day and eventually it will cause me to be depressed a tidy home makes us feel that we are in control it makes you feel like you have accomplished something but when the home is messy and has a lot of stuff it gives us a feeling of shame and we think that we don't have it together and studies have shown that people in a messy place report more fatigue and they are always in depressive mood. They never have energy. I've been saying that for months at home. I'm going to throw out everything. I keep saying that because this is really the way I feel. I realize that the more I have, the harder it is for me to organize the place and to keep the home organized. And I also realized that my son keeps wearing the same clothes over and over again very often because his closet is not organized. So I'm not using everything. He's doing fine like that. Because his closet is so full and so messy, I can't really go through everything. And sometimes when I see the t-shirt, it's already too small. Or when I see the pants, they are already too small. So that's why I was like, let me just declutter this closet. I thank God for giving me the strength to do that. Because for years, you know what I've been saying? What I need is a bigger home. I don't have a lot of stuff. I've been saying this for years. That I don't have a lot of stuff. I, my children don't have a lot of stuff. The thing is, the closet space is too small. My home is too small. You know, by the way, let me say that. I live in Brooklyn, New York. My home worth over a million dollars. It's a legal two-family home. On the garden floor, I have a two-bedroom apartment for rent. But there's no space. It's a great investment property. But it's not the ideal place for me to live with my big family. Honestly, I'm saying that. We really want to move to another state to purchase a bigger home for our family. 
this is really what we want to do. This is really what we wanted to do since the beginning. But you know, it's not possible yet. I am grateful to God for what we have. I thank God for what we have. And at the end of the day, I have to make my family fit into our home and live in our home happily with no clutter because this is what we have. This is my present. I don't have the huge walk-in closet. My children don't have the huge walk-in closet. So I have to live and feel good with what I have. And I want to kindly recommend you to do the same, okay? Try to see if you can make your family fit in your apartment or your house because this is what you have. If you don't have a big living room, don't buy a big chair. Don't buy a big TV stand. And then you're going to feel like, oh my God, the place is too small. Try to buy your furniture according to your space. If you know that you don't have a huge walk-in closet, don't buy a lot of shoes, a lot of handbags, a lot of clothes, and then you're going to feel like your closet is too small. It's going to be all around your room, you know, and you're not going to be happy living at your house. So this is what I'm kindly recommending you because I'm now realizing that I have to stop and try to fit my family into my home. I'm not judging you because I was making the same mistake. Okay. Try to see if you can live with what you have, because a lot of the time we keep saying that my place is too small. My place is too small. That's why, um, I have that much around. So if you know that your place is small, don't buy a lot of stuff. Try to buy what you can fit into your place. And please remember when you're furnishing your apartment, to leave some space for you to walk around, for your children to walk around. You will need that. Right now, I've reached a point where I have to choose between my mental health and what I have. I am upset. I am angry. I'm like, I have to get rid of all clutter, especially the clothes right now. My house is not really full with stuff like the living room and dining room. You know, not so much. And remember, a few months ago, I decluttered the cabinet. So I got rid of a lot of plastic bowls and plates already. Now I have to do the closets. It's not easy to declutter. I know that it's hard for a lot of people. It was hard for me before. But as I explained to you, I'm like, I'm tired. I have to choose between my peace, my sanity, and what I have. I know that it's not easy for you, but if you really want to declutter, I want to give you some tips. If you really want to start to declutter your home, I want to recommend you to start to declutter what is easier and less sentimental. This is exactly what I did. My kitchen didn't really have a lot of sentimental stuff. So that's why I started with my kitchen. And after I did the kitchen, I felt like I accomplished something. And since then, I was saying I have to do the same thing with my closets because I felt so good after doing it. So start by removing things that you know that you don't want and that you don't care about. At least start by removing these things. When you are doing it like that, it will be less overwhelming. As I explained to you, it will be, you will feel better as well because it can be hard to get rid of something that you like, even if you're not using it, but you like it. So it can be hard. Let's not forget about that. So try to start with what is less important to you. And what you can do as well for decluttering to be less overwhelming, you can build a support system. If you have children, try to ask them to help you because believe it or not, when you are doing all the work, it's going to be easier if someone take the bag away for you or bring you the bags. You know, it's always good to have help. If you have a partner, you can ask your partner to help you as well. If you have a friend, 
you can ask them to help you as well not only they can really help you move stuff and they can also help you decide sometimes it can be hard to let go of something but if you have a friend here your friend may just say i think you can do it without it and trust me one word from someone else may give you the strength to just let go sometimes we just need a word from someone else to help us decide i know it by experience because my husband has helped me with that sometimes i have something and i'm like should i give it away i was doubting and when he said you can just give it away it's okay and you know i'm just happy to give it away i also helped my friend decide a word from someone else is a lot of the time the boost that we need to just let go of something you can also create a system that will make you work less for example if you're taking the clothes out of your closet you don't have to make one huge pile on the floor that you have to go through again if you really have a lot of stuff you can make different piles for example this is what i was doing what I'm keeping, I just put it directly in the closet and what I'm going to give away, I just put them to the side. So after I finish, I don't have to go through it again. I know, okay, I already organized everything that I'm keeping and everything that I'm giving away are already on the floor. If you really have a lot of stuff, try to make three piles. What you're keeping, what is trash and what you're giving away. I could have said that what you want to store, but I'm not saying that because I'm not going to recommend that to you. If you take the time to declutter your home, don't declutter to put it somewhere else in your house. Because remember, your house is not a storage. So if you're going to declutter, declutter for real. Just keep what you need and give away what you don't need there's only one exception that i can think of right now if you are a young mom and you want to keep some baby stuff for your next baby go ahead and do it i'm not gonna say that you have to give everything away and then buy everything new again i'm not saying that but otherwise please don't store stuff in your house Try to just do the job and do it for real. Declutter your home and take everything that you don't need out of your house. When I was reading about decluttering, I came across a method that I think is true. If you don't use something for six months, you most likely don't need it. They call it the 90-90 method. For example, you ask yourself, did I use that in the past 90 days? If your answer is no, so you know that you don't use it very often. And you're going to ask yourself again, will I use that in the next 90 days? If your answer is no, you know that maybe you will never use it again. And some of us have things sitting there for years. So if you have something sitting there for years, please, you don't need it. Try to see if you can start by decluttering that something else that you need to keep in mind when you are trying to declutter try to do it at the right time you need to know that when doing a decluttering job it will always take a few hours so make sure that you start when you know that you can finish something if you know that you're going to work don't start it and make a mess because after you make the mess, your house will look even worse. And maybe you can feel overwhelmed when you're looking at the mess. Maybe you're not going to want to continue. So start it when you know that you can finish. If you are working and you don't often have a lot of time, try to do small area at a time. If you have a big closet, try to do it shelf by shelf. But what is important to remember is that try to finish what you started something else that can make decluttering less stressful and less sentimental is to pretend that you are moving i think that this is great because a lot of the time when we are moving this is when we really try to go through everything and put to trash what is trash or give away what we know that we don't need. So pretend that you are moving. Ask yourself, if I was moving, would I take that with me? 
If the answer is no, so you don't need it. Try to get rid of it now. And I'm sure that you will feel great about it. And I'm sure that you will be so much happier living in your home. That was all the tips that I had for you in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed listening to me. I felt like I spoke a lot, but you know, I had to share that with you. Yeah, as you can see, I am done right now. I'm putting everything that I want to give away into this big trash bag. I did it with no regrets because my mental health is more important to me. And this is a before and after comparison. As you can see, the closet was overpacked. It was impossible to get something from this closet and it was so stressful. And keep in mind that this is something that I use a lot. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I really hope that you found the motivation you needed to start to declutter your home. Clutter is not good for our mental health. Clutter is not good for our body in general. Studies have shown that it can even affect the way we sleep. So our home really affects our mental health. So please do that. If you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment. Because you know, your comment is very important to me. And as I always say, your comment may be exactly what someone else needed. As you can see, I tried my best to get rid of a lot of different things. As you can see, I kept about six sleeveless t-shirt and about six short sleeves t-shirt for him to wear inside the home you see just few shorts i tried my best and on the first shelf i usually put the clothes for him to wear outside for example if i want to take him to the park to the hospital these t-shirts are for it at and i kept just few shorts as well and about six jeans on the top shelf, I have his winter clothes. You know, sometimes it's cold here. So I have the sweatpants and few jeans that are a little too big right now. This is size five and six. So I kept few so I don't have to shop very soon. And in the back, you're not gonna be able to see that, but I have winter shirt and sweaters. So when summer is over, this top shelf is going to be empty because I'm going to put all the winter clothes at the bottom. Yeah, so don't worry, I don't have a lot. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. Your support is very much appreciated. It's always appreciated. It really means a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye.